Welcome back to my YouTube channel, man. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel down below where it say Allen Baby TV. Subscribe, 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 subscribe to the channel. And if y'all keep on subscribing to the channel, I'm going to keep on dropping videos for y'all. I want to get into this video right here. It was an up-and-coming rapper. He went by the name of... Glocko, Glocko from Jaro City. So rest in peace to Glocko from Jaro City. Rest in peace to Glocko from Jaro City, man. Rest in peace to that young black brother. He lost his life due to gun violence, you know. And it's very, very sad, man. He lost his life due to gun violence in Chicago, bro. Is it sad, bro? Is it sad, sad, sad? It just feel like Chicago is like a motherfucking war zone. It's just like you got to be on high alert 24-7. Like, you got to be on high alert 24-7 watching your back. Like, it's like Blick City out there. It's like, motherfucker, it's like, it's like you going to get in a shootout every 10, 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? The only way you won't get in a shootout every 10, 20 minutes unless you far out in the suburbs. Unless you far out in the suburbs in a nice neighborhood. I'm talking about far, far, far out, like, where you basically out of Chicago, you know, <clears throat> but rest in peace, man, to Glocko, man, from Jabro City, I want everybody to go look him up and pay your respect, man, my, my prayers go out to his family, his loved ones, my prayers go out to his kids, because I heard he had two little kids, so my prayers go out to his kids, man, you know, they lost their father due to gun violence, you know. And a lot of person, you know, a lot of people want to understand, like, you know, some people are slow and some people are literate, you know. So, you know, you can look him up, man. His name is Glocko, G-L-O-C-K-O, Glocko. Rest in peace to Glocko from Jairo City, man. Like, he was a real, 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 real goon. He was a real goon. He was a real savage, man. You know what I'm saying? He was a, a real goon. A real savage, bro. And he, but he had a good heart. A lot of people, see, a lot of people will be forgetting all that shit. Like, bro, yeah, he was a goon. Yeah. He was a savage. Yeah. But he had a good heart, bro. He had a good heart and a good head on his shoulders, bro. All he had to do was just leave that gang banging shit alone, bro. Like, that's all every black man just got to do is leave the gang banging shit alone. Leave the gang banging shit alone and leave the streets alone and shit. And then you will make it to see 60, 70, 80, 80 years old, man. You know, it's sad, bro, when motherfuckers die at a young age. That's very, very sad and depressing when a person die. At a young age, don't make it to see 30, don't make it to see 21, don't make it to see um, 33. That's very sad, bro. You know, that's sad. You know what I'm saying? That's sad and depressing, man. You know, like, and a lot of people think that shit cool, bro, with black on black crime, bro. I ain't with no black on black crime. I don't believe in killing my motherfucking race, bro. That's some pussy ass, lame ass shit, bro. Like, Motherfuckers think, oh, that's cool to kill your fucking race. No, it ain't, bro. It's not fucking cool to kill your fucking race, bro. Like, that's stupid, bro. That mother, Whoever brainwashed you niggas to pick up a gun and go shoot at your same fucking race, your same, your same fucking skin color, y'all niggas is retarded and illiterate, bro. Mm -hmm. And a lot of niggas don't know. The biggest gang nigga in the world, the biggest gang in the world, nigga, is the police and the FBI. That's the biggest gang in the world. It's the police and the FBI, nigga, and the judge. That's the biggest fucking gang in the world, bro. Them is the motherfucking people who bring guns in the city. Them is the people who bring drugs in the city. Them is the motherfuckers who motherfucking bring the guns in the city and plant the guns, drop guns in everybody hood. And then when motherfuckers start shooting each other, they want to catch you and then try to tell you, try to pin the gun on you and try to say, oh, we're going to give you 50 years. We'll give you 50 years. We're going to give you 50 years. We're going to give you 20 years. If you don't tell, if you don't tell them this person, tell them this person, tell them this person. And they already know what the fuck come with the streets, nigga. 
Nigga, you can't snitch, nigga, in the streets. You cannot snitch in the streets, nigga. Nigga, um, one thing about nigga, hood niggas and street niggas, we don't allow no motherfucking snitches, bro. Snitches get stitches. The feds know that. The FBI know that. The judge know that. Like, that shit is crazy, bro. Like, the biggest gang in the motherfucking world, bro, is the motherfucking police, bro. The police, the FBI, the judge, and the IRS. That's the biggest motherfucking gang, bro. Straight up. Niggas think, oh, Bloods is the biggest gang. Niggas think Crip is the biggest gang. Niggas think GD is the biggest gang. Niggas think BD's is the biggest gang. Nah, baby. Nah, baby. Y'all got it wrong. The biggest gang in the world is, excuse me, the biggest gang in the world, nigga, is the police, nigga. Is the police, nigga, the FBI, nigga, the judge, nigga. Nigga, y'all niggas know how much money they make for y'all ass, nigga. When they put a black person, when they lock a black person in jail, nigga, nigga, they make, nigga, an hour. Nigga, they make $50 an hour when they lock a black person up. Nigga, when they lock a white person up, nigga, they only making motherfucking, nigga, um, $10, $10 nigga, every hour, nigga. But why the fuck do they get paid more for locking up a black person up, nigga? Ain't that shit crazy? Ain't that shit crazy? And every time when black people get pulled over, motherfucking, the cop always got his motherfucking gun, always got his fucking gun out, or always got his hand on his gun. But when he pull over a white person, what the fuck? The police has come and collected nice and shit. Man, that's just bitch ass shit, bro. I'm just tired of the system, bro. The system is fucked up, bro. The system is fucked up. But it, the niggas, niggas ain't doing it. Niggas ain't do, helping it. Niggas ain't helping it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we could blame it on the system, right? But y'all ain't helping it, nigga. Because the end of the day, nigga, what y'all do? Pick up the guns. Go kill your own fucking race. That is stupid. Like, like that's dumb, my nigga. Like, that is retarded, bro. Like, nigga, you killing your own race for what? For what? Over words? Nigga over words, nigga. As long as the nigga didn't put his hands on you or your kids, nigga. Nigga, what the fuck is you killing a nigga over words then, nigga? That's stupid, bro. Like, life is short, bro. Come on, man. Life is short, bro. And then a lot of motherfuckers don't believe in God. That's the problem. A lot of them niggas don't believe in God, bro. A lot of people don't believe in God. That's the problem. I don't want no motherfucking demonic people around me, and I don't want no devil worshipers around me, nigga. Straight up, bro, because I believe in spreading love and spreading peace. You know what I'm saying? I believe in I believe in treating everybody the same, nigga. I believe in niggas treating everybody the same, nigga. For real. Nigga, I don't got time, nigga, to be sagging my pants, nigga, down on my knees, talking about, oh, I'm going to load up a gun and go shoot me an op. What the fuck is an op, nigga? I ain't got no motherfucking ops, nigga. Nigga, I don't got no ops, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I ain't got no beef. My beef is with the motherfucking government, nigga. Y'all niggas better wake the fuck up. My beef is with the motherfucking government, nigga. For real. Nigga, my beef is with the motherfucking IRS, nigga. My beef is with the police, nigga. My beef is with the judge, nigga. Uh, nigga, my thing is I'm tired of, nigga. They think they can lock black people up, nigga, and just throw away the motherfucking key, nigga. But if a white man go out and kill somebody, nigga, they gonna let that nigga get out. They gonna let him bond out. But if a black person kills somebody, they ain't gonna let your ass bond out, nigga. Because they trying to teach you dumb niggas a lesson. You know? But like I said, man, rest in peace to Glocko, man, from Java Rose City, man. Rest in peace to him, man. Rest in peace to that young black brother, him and Cash, him and FPG Cash was best friends and shit, man. But, you know, a lot of people don't understand, man. He had a good heart. He had a good head on his shoulders. But he just got caught up in that gangbanging. He got caught up in that gangbanging shit. And he should have just left that shit alone, bro. <laughs> For real. Should have left that shit alone, bro. You know? But, like, the thing is, a lot of people don't know. Man, he was good in sports. He was good in basketball. He was good in football. Man, he could have got him a motherfucking scholarship and got the fuck up out of here. Instead of trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? He could have got him a scholarship. A scholarship, nigga. Got a scholarship playing basketball or football, nigga, and got the fuck up out of here. That's the problem with black people, nigga. We all, every black person think they it's cool to rap. We all can't be rappers, my nigga. Let's all, nigga, spread our wings, do something different. Like, nigga, you could be a doctor. You could be a lawyer. You could be a judge. You, nigga, like, Man, I understand niggas want the fat niggas want the fast money. Nah, bro, we gotta understand, my nigga. We could be different shit. We could be motherfucking doctors. We could be lawyers, nigga. We could be 
motherfucking um nigga we good motherfucking sell cars nigga we ain't got it this nigga nigga wanna be a rapper cause nigga when you're a rapper when you sign up to that job and you sign your motherfucking name on that line nigga you gonna rap whatever the fuck they tell you to rap about if they tell you to about, rap about killing killing your motherfucking race you gonna rap about killing your race if they tell you to rap about pimping nigga you gonna rap about pimping nigga and I ain't gonna let no white man pimp me nigga Got me fucked up, nigga. And but the thing is, just check it out. I love black people. I love Mexicans. I love white people. I love every race. I love every race. I give back to the homeless people all the time. I help the homeless people out all the time. You know what I'm saying? My thing is that I don't have beef for nobody in the world, man. I'm I'm good, bro. I'm blessed, man. I believe in God. You know what I'm saying? I believe in praying. You know what I'm saying? I believe in. I don't believe in. Killing my motherfucking race. I don't believe in going to war with my own fucking brother. I don't believe in going to war with my own fucking color. That shit crazy, bro. I don't believe in going to war with no color. You know what I'm saying? Like, why we just can't be people? Why we just can't be loving people? Where we love, give back, we share, help our community out and everything, bro. Is this man Chicago? Man, Chicago this, man. Is this seem like Chicago got nothing but demons out there, nigga? Like, bro, see, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Detroit and Chicago is, nigga, close by, nigga. So, nigga, I understand what Chicago going through. You know what I'm saying? But, see, I moved out. I left Detroit, nigga. I left Detroit. I moved from Detroit, man. I moved from Detroit, nigga. I'm out. I moved from Detroit, nigga, and moved to Arizona. Arizona is way different than Chicago. Arizona is way different than um, motherfucking Chicago, Arizona way different than Chicago. Arizona is way different than motherfucking uh, Detroit. You know, niggas out there, niggas just want to walk around, mean mug you and shit. Out there in Chicago, out there in Detroit, nigga, if you look at them the wrong way, they want to start shit with you. They want to shoot shoot at you for nothing. Like, man, if motherfuckers want to do that, man, be shooting and killing people, nigga, motherfuckers should sign up to the army. Motherfuckers should go to the army then, nigga. For real, nigga. Go to sign up for the army, nigga. If you niggas want to do that. Because, like, nigga, like, I ain't down with that shit, bro. I'm not down with killing my race, nigga. I'm against that shit, bro. We, nigga, we got to change the system, bro. We got to learn how to, nigga, put the guns down and stop killing each other. We got to learn how to stop fighting each other. We got to learn how to come together, nigga. Come together and share, share. We got to learn how to share, nigga. Share, share our shit. We got to learn how to come together, nigga, and build something together instead of beefing with each other, my nigga. And then, nigga, it's this nigga that's, um, he, I thought he was a rapper. He is a rapper, but he, his rapping career fell off, nigga. But his his name is Big T. Big T up next, right? This nigga, this nigga talking bad about, he on the internet talking bad about the dead. He disrespect FBG Duck. He disrespect Woozy. He disrespect um, Glocko. He disrespect FBG Cash. Like, nigga, come on, bro. You you dissing the dead, my nigga. That shit ain't cool, bro. You don't get no brownie points for dissing the dead, my nigga. And, and, and like, nigga, it's crazy, bro. He basically doing what the white man want him to do, nigga. Like, on some real shit. Only thing I got to say, bro, I'm trying to give that nigga some advice and some knowledge, bro. Big T up next. Man, our mouth is so powerful. Our mouth, our tongues is powerful. You better be careful what you say out your mouth. Because karma is real, nigga. What you say and what you throw out there in the universe, nigga, it can come back 10 times, nigga. 10 times, 20 times harder and bite you in your ass. Just because you out there in California hiding and shit, nigga. And you don't think no niggas out there will get up with you out there, nigga. <laughs> don't think it's sweet out there in California, my nigga. <laughs> nigga, don't think it's sweet out there in California, nigga. It ain't sweet nowhere, nigga. A nigga could, a nigga could get shot in anywhere, Nigga, you could be in motherfucking Hawaii. You could be in motherfucking Alaska and get shot. You could be anywhere and get shot, my nigga. Like, but, you know, I just didn't like the shit what he was doing on the internet. Big T up next was just dissing on, like, he talking bad about the dead. You don't talk bad about dead people, bro. How you gonna talk bad about dead people, bro, and they not here to defend themselves, my nigga? Like, that's some pussy ass shit. That's some bitch shit. That's some sucker ass shit. Like, I don't respect niggas like that, bro. And then, like, I'm tired of motherfuckers talking about they gangsters. I'm tired of, I'm tired of hearing this word. Motherfuckers say they gangsters, but they on the internet. 
how the fuck can you be a gangster, but you on in, you on Instagram arguing with motherfuckers, you on Facebook arguing with niggas, you on the clubhouse arguing with niggas, how the fuck can you be a gangster, how the fuck can you be a real nigga, I'm tired of motherfuckers talking about they real niggas, what is a real nigga, <laughs> what is a real nigga, a real nigga is what, a nigga that sag his pants, a nigga that got a gun, a nigga that walk around and shoot people, that's a real nigga, no, that's not no real nigga, that's a dumb nigga, a dumb nigga, like, you know, but I'm just saying, man, like, rest in peace to everybody that we lost, man, in this world, bro. You know, I just feel sad for certain people because a lot of people don't believe in God. And God is, God is going to punish a lot of people. God is going to punish a lot of people, you know, for real. We got to be careful what the fuck we say out of our mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because whatever you say out your mouth could good, come back and bite you in your ass. He was up on there talking bad about um, his kids, talking bad about um, FBG, FBG Cash. How you going to talk about a, 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 a um, Glocko from John Bro City kids, my nigga? He going to talk about his daughter. How you going to talk about his daughter, my nigga? Like, that's crazy, bro. That, that, that's some lame ass shit. You talking bad about a kid, but the kid ain't even here, my nigga. The kid can't even defend herself, my nigga. But you on the internet talking bad about a kid. Like, I don't, support, I, don't, I, don't, I don't support that bitch ass shit, man. I don't support that nigga, man. Fuck that nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got beef with nobody. But I'm just saying, man, I, I, don't, I don't fuck with that nigga, bro. Because that's some clown ass shit. You disrespecting a kid. You wouldn't like if nobody disrespect your kids. So why the fuck could you disrespect on the nanny man kids? <laughs> Stupid. But like I said, man, rest in peace to Glocko. Rest in peace to, um... King Von, rest in peace to motherfucking Juice World, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace to FPG Duck, rest in peace to uh, Mo3, rest in peace to Young Dolph, rest in peace to all the motherfucking legends that we lost in this world. I love y'all. Subscribe to the channel.